this is a it's hard it's hard to overstate how important this next series is for the for both teams mm-hmm. for like all four teams in the AL Central. Mm-hmm. Like either the Twins can really fitting you know, that the the team that's not involved in the AL Central is hopelessly out of the race. <laughs> yeah, you know you know the Twins can really you know throw a few panic throw some panic into everybody mm-hmm. if they can win the four game series against Detroit and Cleveland can you know. You know, if Cleveland sweeps, they can really kill a huge blow to the White Sox. That would drop them seven and a half behind Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And um, depending on what Detroit does, or Chicago could, you know, come in and take two out of three and bunch this up even this more. This weekend so, is really anybody's weekend. Yeah, this is going to be a really fun weekend. Six runs in the sixth inning for the Angels. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. After five runs in the fifth inning for Texas. Yeah, yeah. I'm really looking. You know, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a fun. The AOS, game. everybody. Yeah. In case you're wondering on the uh, on the pitching matchups that we have here. Yeah, you 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 sent those out earlier. It was uh, brilliant. I tweeted tomorrow. The, I tweeted the Tigers pitching matchups. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Once they announced that Baker was starting Saturday night, it's going to go. Come on, load a little slower here. So Scott Baker was not on the DL? Oh, was retroactive? Scott Baker was on the DL for like five days. Retroactive, dude. Yeah, because they put him retroactively, and, you know, they just, and it was mostly, I think, for the purposes of getting some, of opening a roster spot for that doubleheader that they had played. Yeah. So, I mean, I probably could have not gone without DLing him, but they did. Mm -hmm. So, it is Verlander and Pavano on Thursday night, which I like for us. Even if Pavano has had a success against us, mm-hmm. he's the hittable pitcher, and it's Verlander. Scherzer and Dunsing on Friday night. Uh, we can hit Dunsing, um, and hopefully Scherzer can keep it going because he's been a lot better lately. Um, Brad Penny against Scott Baker, which looks bad, but um, the Tigers have had a fair amount of success against Scott Baker in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, whether that holds. Cabrera is hitting, I'm looking, um, 28 at-bats. Cabrera is hitting 321 off him. Carlos Guillen is hitting 367 against him. Maglio Ardonez is hitting 465 against him. Hmm. So they've worn out Scott Baker before. Right. And then you've got Porcello and Liriano on Sunday, and the Tigers have halfway decent numbers against Liriano, too. The eight. And... Um, Porcello, yeah, Cabrera is hitting 350 off Liriano. Guillen is hitting 333. Ordonez is hitting 429. Mm-hmm. Peralta is 292. So you know, the 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 first two pitchers pitching matchups I think favor us. The last two probably favor them to an extent, but they're guys that we have hit right before. Yeah. So, and then after that, the uh, they go to Chicago. So this is a really big road trip. And um, the White Sox and the Indians, Gavin Floyd and Carlos Carrasco. I don't know about that one. Mm-hmm. Edwin Jackson and David Huff. Now, in spite of David Huff shutting out the Twins his last time out, he's still David Huff. And Philip Umber against Justin Masterson. So, that's interesting. Yep. And then you said... I don't... I'm sorry? Go on. No, and then you said you go to uh, to Chicago. Yeah, next week. and then we go to Chicago, yeah. and Burley starts the first game there against whoever our fifth starter is. Mm-hmm. And I say whoever because, I mean, Dwayne Bila didn't pitch himself out of the job, but right. uh, this time of year a lot can happen in five days. <laughs> so I won't is, be paying all, attention if free agency for the NFL is out. Is, is all I'm saying. Or at least I tell myself I won't be paying attention. I'll probably be paying attention to both things. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's... It's going to be... Yeah. It's... I don't know. How does Cleveland play after... After they uh, play Chicago? Somebody's got to be coming there. I'm sorry? Or who does Cleveland play after Chicago? Oh, Cleveland's, Cleveland's hosting the Angels after they're on Chicago. Oh. So. Hmm. The random out-of-division team. That's right. I guess the Royals play the somebody after that. Uh, the Tampa I Bay. Pace, I would imagine they're cycling at this point. 
Yeah, Tampa Bay, and then, uh, no, I mean, they're done with the Angels, the Royals are. Uh, I know the Angels are in Detroit after they play Cleveland. So oh, okay. That road trip makes sense for them, at least. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I, we have the Angels for four at home, mm -hmm. which I like. Oh, the, the Royals matched up great with them this year. They went seven yeah, and three well, against them. I mean, the Angels have the two really good starters, and then it just gets. Well, weird. and that's the thing, so. and that's the thing with the Royals in the in the two, last two series of three games. So in the last six games, they didn't face Weaver or Heron. They faced yeah, they faced count. Santana, um, Pinheiro, and uh, Tyler Chatwood. So yeah. see, we have a, we have a four game series, mm -hmm. so we get at least one of them, and probably both of them. My team plays Tampa Bay at home, then they go to Boston next week. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, well, that's right. Cleveland's got the uh, Boston-Texas road trip coming. Yeah, Boston, and then... That's going to be a tough one on them. Boston, and then Cleveland, and then... Baltimore, long homestand. Well, no, just six-game homestand. Baltimore, Detroit. Detroit's back after coming in a month ago because they couldn't come in the first two months of the season. When the weather was bearable, uh, then they go to Tampa, Chicago White Sox, and then the from August fifteenth to twenty first, the uh, Yankees Red Sox homestand, which I'll stay away from. <laughs> Not going to that. Yeah, yeah it's that Cle that um, Cleveland's road trip to Boston and Texas might bury them if they're not careful. Where could let me look at their schedule? Where could they get buried? That's a that's a tough road where, where else could the eight better? Because for, for, for now, they've weathered the regression storm. Yeah. Well, I mean, they haven't ex exactly been lighting the world up. It's just that the rest of the division isn't... They have a long homestand this weekend. They have White Sox, Angels, Royals. Uh, they're, then they go to Boston and Texas. Yeah. And they're home against the Tigers, Minnesota. And then just kind of division play, so... Yeah, that's where it's going to get. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't you know, that might bury them at the same time, but probably won't bury them because they'll they'll still be able to... Everybody controls their own destiny. Yeah, especially with the divisions, the... With yeah. all the games that they have to play against each other. I mean, we still have... I mean, in two months, we still have... What? I, we played six against mm -hmm. them, so that's 12 more games. And... Um, I know we've only we've this is only our second trip to Minnesota. They've only been here once. Um, Chicago's been here twice now, and we're going back there for the second time this week or the next week. And we got a lot of games against so, the Royals. I mean, so. so do you like this divisional deal or? Well, when it was kind of yes, you know, once I'm in the situation mm -hmm. that I'm in, yeah, <laughs> it's it's yeah. it's nice. It's just you know it's. It kind of feels like a two-month yeah. playoff, you know. I thought I, I thought I wouldn't like it. Like something of a yeah. round robin. I thought I, I wouldn't like it at first, but I mean, obviously, my team is out of it, so I don't care. But it, it I could, I could live with this. Yeah. We also inexplicably have seven games left against the Orioles uh -huh. thrown in there, and those should be yeah, the way they pitch pitching yeah. lately. They're like the, they're like the reverse <laughs> Oakland. You can just you can just pry games from them. Yeah, they can actually score, but they can't pitch. Although didn't they beat the uh, Red Sox once this week? They did beat the Red Sox <laughs> once. Although Andrew Miller shut them out today, despite walking six That's and five horrible. and two thirds. <laughs> yeah. So. Two hits, six yeah. walks. Uh, you know, but yeah, it's. I, I, I still like mm -hmm. our schedule. I mean, we a bunch of divisional games, and we're not playing anyone good in the non-divisional games. I mean, it's Oakland. We have to go to Oakland one more time. Um, we host the Angels, and we have two series mm -hmm. against Baltimore. And I think, off the top of my head, I think that's it. 